whether you want to start your investing journey or you simply want somebody else to do it for you in the way of robo investors so moving your money across without you effectively having to make those decisions every month having it on your phone the ease and convenience is no doubt one of the simplest ways to start investing in the stock market whether it be that you're checking tesla's prices during your lunch break perhaps even checking your portfolio on the journey home it's simple it's straightforward and you can make decisions about your investments from your phone without having to go on a dedicated portal so if you're thinking about investing whether it's small amounts of money or larger amounts so in today's video i'm going to break down what i believe are some of the best uk investing apps out there i believe that if you're a beginner or an expert there's something for everyone there's also many options and depending on what you want to invest in whether that be traditional individual stocks perhaps index funds etfs bonds or even cryptocurrency there is a wealth of information out there and a great number of choices so i hope today's video is really going to help you And as with anything, before we dive in, remember, these are just recommendations. This is not personal investment advice for you. So if one of them in particular seems to fit the bill for you, by all means, check out all the information about the app, about the platform, before you put your money in there and start investing. Hi there, welcome back to the Mama Furfur channel today. My name is Jennifer, and as I said in this video, I'm going to break down a wealth of options out there for investing via your phone. Now, traditionally, we have seen a lot of companies be website-only platforms. I'm thinking of Vanguard, fidelity companies like that so I wanted to switch this up and actually give you options if you are completely phone based or if you're looking for the ease of convenience of actually using your phone to manage or start investing in some way now if you're unsure about the stock market I'm going to use a lot of terms such as ETF bonds index funds if you don't have a clue about those terms yet I want you to stop this video and go over to my other videos about the stock market I have a wealth of information about actually the basic terms how we understand the stock market to actually invest in it as part of your wealth growing strategy i do believe investments are part of everyone's budget we can invest regardless of if you've got five pounds a month or if you've got 500 pounds a month it's all about though understanding how you can buy in to certain parts of the market and then do it long term so none of the apps i'm going to mention are for short term wins we're all thinking about long term growth we're using this as a vehicle to grow your money long term whether it be to retire early or simply just to have that pot of money buy a house or live off eventually as an income now there is lots of choices out there i've just picked what i feel are the best apps to consider with anything remember it's investing your money so you're basically buying parts of companies or stocks and shares you own those until you eventually sell them now there is risks involved nothing is guaranteed please do make sure you read up so you understand what you're considering investing in before you even do it on an app or a website so the first app i'm going to suggest to you is e Toro. Now eToro have a very easy to use app and I'm going to actually show you in this video how I would buy a stock using them but they're very good if you're considering actually buying a wealth of items in the stock market. For example if you're interested in perhaps day trading, cryptocurrencies, forex or simply buying stocks and funds in the market you can really do everything on their app. It's for me the all-inclusive giving you every single option you could think of. Now they mentioned that they're a social trading app. Now essentially what that means because they focus on that wide range of stock market investments that you could make they actually allow you to copy other traders who are day trading to find out what they're doing and copy what they're doing with their money into your own portfolio they even have an option to do a test or a demo portfolio now one of their great benefits is they don't charge you any trading fees or fees on the actual commodities that you buy now this is great especially when a lot of companies do actually charge you for every single share you buy and then sell as well they have a minimum deposit of $200 which is roughly £156 at the time I'm making this video but the great thing is they have a lot of commission free trading options within their app so that means you won't see the same share by trading fees that you might on their platforms and then when you go to sell them as well they do however have inactivity fees now if you're like me and you're investing every single month anyway you're not going to be affected by those charges if you're buying index funds or perhaps individual companies it's just going to be part and parcel of your investment strategy and you might never see see those fees attached. 
So the app you can get from the Google Play Store and obviously on the Apple Store. And I want to show you how easy it is effectively to buy an app. Now I actually use the eToro app myself for buying my individual stocks. So part of my portfolio, only 5% is actually in individual stocks of companies. The rest of my money is in index funds and they're usually globally spread index funds. For me, that's how I like to balance things in terms of our goals and what I want to do with that money eventually. But let me show you how easy it is actually to buy a stock using their app right now. Now, what I like especially is they really make this easy to use, whether you're a beginner or you're an expert looking to dabble in all types of investments. Now, because we're going to be trading in US stocks or ETFs, they actually need you to fill out a specific form, which is to do with taxes and how you pay them relating to being an investor in the US. So it's called a W8 pen. You can obviously go and check out a little bit more information about that form. But essentially, they will make it so easy for you if you've never traded before using their app. They allow you to actually sign that form to fill it all out and register it on the app as well before you even make a trade. So if you haven't traded, take those couple of minutes, do that form, and then you're all set to go. Now, bear in mind, if you are using any of these apps to invest, you're not using investment ISA flavors of the apps, you will be subject to tax accordingly. Now, in the UK, that may require you to fill out a self-assessment form once a year to make sure that any profits you're getting from dividends or extra increase that you're paying the right capital gains tax on it you will see that the first screen that you actually see as it signs you in is a full list of all the options potentially that you could watch. So you can actually set this up to keep an eye on certain stocks, funds or ETFs. Now the great thing here is that you can use their search button and basically find any stocks that might be already catching your eye. Now one in particular that might of course be something that you regularly want to invest in is to do with Vanguard. So if I type in Vanguard here, so if I type in Vanguard in the search engine, now they don't carry all of Vanguard's products like their life strategy, target funds, but they do actually carry the majority that as an investor you'd probably want to invest in, such as the S&P 500 ETF, the total stock index, so that's tracking the total global stock market. We've got a bond one, we've got the real estate version of that index fund. So there's plenty there. If you wanted to buy a good solid ETF or index fund, you could buy it from this app as well. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually buy an individual company stock using the eToro app. So all I would do, let's say for example, I wanted to invest in Vodafone, which right now, as I'm filming this video, a lot of the stocks and shares have dropped in price because there's an economic situation going on. So I actually might be able to get this far cheaper than I would have in the past. So as you see, Vodafone comes up, I click on that. I then see the information about how it's done from the previous day. It tells me what the share price is right now. And then the easy thing we go and we actually click on trade. Now in this next window, you have the option to sell or buy. Now we obviously want to actually buy this stock. I don't have any already, so it's gonna be really simple for me to do. You'll see two kind of toggles. You can either go to units, which means actually buying number of stocks, or you can switch it and see a certain amount of money you want to spend. Now it will convert it into dollars because that's how they trade. So the money you deposit is obviously in UK pounds, but they'll convert it to a US dollar equivalent. It's got a $50 minimum buying shares for this particular type right now. The market's closed, that's obvious. I'm filming this actually at the weekend. So if I want to actually go ahead and buy, all I would simply do is make sure in the next section, my leverage is set to one. Leverage is to do actually with a little bit deeper trading, day trading and such options. So I'm not gonna to touch upon that, but essentially make sure your leverage is at times one before you actually buy. So it's super straightforward, super easy. And then also if you actually wanted to sell, you could hit trade as well. And you go into the sell portion and do the same thing with the amounts that you actually wanted to sell. So the great thing is the app keeps it super straightforward forward for you. So that's me effectively, I have bought my first two shares in Vodafone, really exciting. I could then do that with any other amounts of money that I wanted to deposit. And it'll keep an eye also at the bottom, it'll tell you how much your shares are approximately worth right now. And if you wanted to sell them, that's obviously up to you. I believe in long term, so we're holding it for as long as possible. But if you're looking to make smaller investments, perhaps smaller than eToro, a new fintech product that I'd recommend to you is called Wombat. Now they're available on the Android and the App Store. And essentially, what they did was they took away the need for monthly fees that we see with a lot of apps, but they do charge you an annual charge based on the products you select. Now they're really good if you have those small amounts to invest because if you are over a thousand pounds, then you will have platform fees to actually pay. But what they did was they decided that they would make investing as simple as possible for people. They actually gave you a couple of fund choices. So buying real stocks, real things in the stock market, but grouping them based on your risk or perhaps the type of 
industries you want to invest in. So the other great thing is it can auto invest for you. So if you don't believe your habits would see you manually invest, it will do this every two weeks based on your current buying and spending patterns on your bank account. You just tell it it has permission to do it and it will do it. So let me show you how easy it is using the Wombat app and it's really super fun. Here we are in the Wombat app that I have a general investing account with them but you can have an investment ISA. Investment ISA is fantastic if you've never invested before because it's a tax free option. So obviously I explained with eToro you will have to pay capital gains tax on their shares that they actually are buying and selling for you so you have to be mindful of that. With Wombat and some of the other examples I'm going to give you, you can have investment ISAs. So up to £20,000 a year per person can be deposited. It's a flavour of savings account using the stock market but the government will say whatever increase you make you don't have to pay tax on. So let me show you how easy it is to use this app. So as I mentioned the funds and there is a limited selection but to be honest there's a really good spread of companies and industries within these funds and based on your risk tolerance. We have the snack attack which essentially is obviously based on and you can go into the portfolio information. It's basically all the brands. So if you're like me a bit of a foodie that might be a really great choice. There's then things like social media, tech, robo, the innovator, simply go through and choose what option, what fund best describes what you want to invest in. And the great thing about Wombat app as well, they have a lot of information to actually really delve in and develop your knowledge in the stock market. So don't be afraid to actually go through all their learning hub to actually understand what you're investing in, how you can make your investments smarter, fit in with your goals, and also get the most out of their products. So let me show you. Basically, I'm going to make a one-off deposit, but you can obviously do the roundups that we talked about making this automatic or a one-off investment. So I'm going to make a one-off investment right now. So I'm actually going to go for the world's greatest fund. So that is basically the high performing companies out of the S&P 500 but make sure you understand what you're investing in before you click the button. So I select it there, I hit continue, I'm going to make this a one monthly amount and the amount that I can make is £10 minimum. I'm actually going to make this £50 because I really like these companies and I hit go and then confirmed I want to invest £50 in the world's greatest, absolutely. I will do that right now. And that's it, and I've been awarded a badge. So they've made it super fun, super easy. The next app I'm going to recommend for you is Free Trade. Now they in particular believe in zero commission fees for trading. So they don't have a fee for their platform either, but they do have limited investment options in stocks, shares, ETFs, and gold. Now a lot of people love them because it's a way to absolutely dive into the stock market, make it super easy. You can buy either ETFs and funds, but you can also buy individual companies like I have and I've shown you before. The great thing also is they have an affiliate program where basically if you recommend to a friend that they actually sign up for the app you then could get a free share up to the value of 200 pounds so effectively building your portfolio by helping others to actually invest in the same process for me i find their choice of funds limited compared to actually what i want to invest in however if you're looking for something that's easy you're a beginner you don't want to necessarily understand everything about the stock market keep it super simple it's one app to check out now the other great thing about free trade is they also have those ISA options. So we talked about the investment ISA, as I mentioned, as a way to tax free invest in the UK. So by all means, if you're looking to have something super simple, you want to delve in and see what actually they offer, by all means, check out their app as well. Now, the next app I'm going to recommend is one that's due out in a couple of months time, hopefully in the UK, and that's the very famous Robin Hood app that's based in the US. Now, traditionally, like eToro, it mainly deals in that US side of things. So the stocks, ETFs, bonds, and everything that is based out of the US. However, their whole ethos, very similar to free trade and some of the options I've described, is this zero fee trading. They want you to be able to trade without the cost usually associated. They allow you to invest from one pound, or it could well be from one dollar when they actually set up the app. It will work in US dollars as well, like eToro. So be aware when you deposit money in in the UK, it will be converted according to that day's currency exchange rate. Now, I don't believe that they'll have any ISA or pension options with Robinhood. I think it'll very much be like eToro where you're buying stocks and shares and commodities as you see fit. I actually think they'll have a bigger selection than free trade. So it might well be one app to check out in the next couple of months as we get deeper into 2020 to really see what benefit it's going to bring to the UK market. 
Now the next app I'm going to recommend for you is Plum. Now this is available through Facebook Messenger, the Android store and the App Store. Now this is particularly good if again you're a beginner and you're looking just to develop the habits of investing. You can start investing from one pound and how it works is kind of like this mini robot they like to describe it in the background that works out your spending, how you're saving and then hopefully moves money across for you. They will actually tell you it's move money across or say to you do you want me to move money across, save or invest. They actually call it is a little bit of a robot working in the background. So you communicate with Plum and then it will then go and do the action for you, whether it be investing or saving. So this particular service has annual fees of roughly 0.15% actually use the platform. And the funds tend to be between 0.22% up to 0.8%. Now, as I say, it's great for beginners because it is doing a little bit of robotic investing in the background. It's analyzing your spending, your saving and making the suggestions to you. And then you're confirming whether you not you want those to happen. It also allows you to actually tell it to do stuff without you having to do the actual physical work. You can simply say plum, invest, blah, 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 and it will go and do that for you. Now, in a similar way, another app I'm going to recommend is Moneybox. Now, it's very good if you want to take a hold of that rounding up principle that we described from the Wombat app. Now, it effectively will look at your spending and saving, but actually allow you to round up to the nearest 50 pence, perhaps the nearest pound, and then save or invest that difference. So it allows you to make a conscious choice, but in some way not notice these small amounts of money that you're then investing. It's called micro investing as a tactic. I like to think of it as the best app for actually investing those small amounts of money because it allows the habits in the background. You're buying your cup of tea in the morning, perhaps your snack at dinner time, and then it's moving small amounts that you're not going to notice really without too much hardship into investment portfolio for you and investment ISA. Now with all of these apps, they do have various levels of accounts that you actually can sign up for. They will either have general investing accounts, which will be subject to tax. They could have investment ISAs, which are the tax-free saving options and in investing, or they could even give you pension other ways to invest for your long-term retirement goals. Whichever one of these apps spoke to you the most though, make sure you understand the ways that you can invest with them, the types of funds you can invest in, and it's extremely important to also understand the fees associated. I've mentioned a lot of apps are zero fee based, so that's obviously a great benefit, but then we tend to find the choices are limited as a result. If you want a wider range of options, perhaps even options of types of accounts as well, you will likely have to pay a platform fee and then a fund selection fee. So bear those in mind whenever you make your investments. Be aware of the total cost, including all these different charges and fees before you actually start to invest. Now understanding the fees and charges is especially important because this affects effectively how much money is staying in your pockets. You can invest, you can get great growth on your portfolio, but we want to keep more of it in our pockets, not giving it to the investment company. Now I think all these apps are really fantastic to actually getting you to start investing or even expanding your investment portfolio. If you're like me, I actually traditionally invest in my investment I are using Vanguard, which is a website only tool right now. For me, they give me that flexibility that I can put my money in every single month, but then these apps allow me to do that individual buying. As I showed you, perhaps individual companies, individual ETFs that top up my investment strategy. I hope whatever you do, they'll find the right blend for you. If you're on your app, on your phone all the time, you want it super, super simple. Or if you want an investment app to do it all for you, like Plum, like Moneybox, choose whichever works best for you. But as always, take the time to understand what you're investing in. But as with everything, make sure you understand what would be the best combination for you. Is it using traditional websites and your app or even just using your app only and using your money management skills that way? Whatever works with your long term goals, your investment strategies, get the best balance for you and your lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching my video today. I hope you've really enjoyed it. There's a plethora of apps out there, whether you're a beginner, you're an expert and what you're hoping to do with the stock market. Plenty of choices, plenty of ways to drive the habits that you want to invest and save. If you've enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up. I would love that. And especially why not hit subscribe if you're brand new to my channel today. There is a whole host of videos all about investing and personal finance on my channel. So why not even binge watch a couple after this video, particularly the ones to do with the stock market and understanding it. I think it's really going to be of benefit to you. I even have tutorials about investment ISAs, how to set them up, what they are, how they can even make you a millionaire and really grow your wealth long term. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.